Uh, as cool as they look, they're not going to give me a predator vision. But I've got something that will. This tiny thing, it's a M5 stack, M5 stick C+. Plus. That's a mouthful. And this is the most featured ESP32 device per square centimeters. And I've talked about it in details in the video in the corner. So I would strongly recommend you to take a look at it because a lot of that's what it does and what you can do with it is going to be explained. And the reason I'm holding this, I'm holding a device that I talked about uh, before, is because this, as you can see, that's quite similar, except for the silicone sock and the attachment on the top, which gives you the Predator vision. So this is M5 stick t light edition, which consists of one of these with a top attachment of the thermal camera. And it's pretty incredible. I've been sitting on it for a couple of months because I didn't have much time to actually cover it, but I've been using it in the background and today is the day in which I'm going to tell you everything about this device and how to use it and what can you do with it. So uh, let's get this show on the road. If you're gonna take a closer look at these, the M5 stick, you'll notice that they have a GPU at the top and you can mount various different hats. For example, this is a servo hat to control different servers and you can just plunk it in there and start using it. And the same goes for that camera, which is just a hat that you can add to your existing device. So if you already have M5 stack stick device and you fancy adding the Predator vision, then you can do it by simply just buying the module or if you have any other uh, devices from M5 stack range, mainly the ESP32 based development boards, then there is another thermal camera, very similar to this, which has a slightly different form factor and you can connect it using I2C connector, the growth connector available on M5 stack devices. So that's another way of using it. But if you're going to opt out for the T-Lite, because that's what it's called, then you're gonna A, save some money. This bundle costs you just under $80. You're gonna get a silicone sock with a uh, nice leash, so you're never gonna lose it. And obviously both devices are gonna arrive to your hands at the same time. That thermal camera hat, which is product number MLX906, 40 is a thermal camera capable of a resolution of 24 pixels by 32 pixels and I know that doesn't sound too impressive but combined with the uh, nice resolution of the display which is uh, 240 by 320 it is capable of displaying quite a bit of information there. The camera itself has an angle of 75 to 110 degrees depending on the orientation and it can scan the environment with a frequency of up to 32 hertz. Honestly, for a device like that, that's pretty damn awesome. The temperature range that you can detect with this uh, module is from minus 40 to 300 degrees of Celsius. And the resolution is plus minus 1.5 degree, which is honestly pretty good for something this big. I know that the resolution might not be the most impressive, but where the device shine is actually with the firmware that comes with it because it's super usable and you can do pretty awesome things with it. So let's get that uh, connected and start playing with it. If you bought it as a bundle, the firmware is going to be already pre-installed. Otherwise, you'll have to go and download the M5 burner, select the uh, T-Lite firmware and load it on your M5 stick device. Once you launch this, you'll be greeted by the interface, which is honestly very well designed. It's very snappy. You can quickly uh, select between different modes and this firmware supports different colors. So you could see what you've got. You've got uh, different options for your pointer. So you can either monitor for the highest or lowest temperatures. You can uh, select uh, the averages, etc., etc. And another cool thing is how you can quickly change between displaying the data on your device by pressing a button and snappily changing different histograms and the way to visualize that data that the camera is looking at it. Honestly, I'm quite surprised how well this works on a device that is ESP32 based. But this is not all, because this is a battery powered device and it connects to your Wi-Fi. You can connect it to your internet and upload the images to local network or to cloud and grab them to your server. Now, 
you can configure the device using the buttons on the device itself, which is slightly finicky, but once you connect it to the internet, uh, you'll create an access point on the device itself, connect it via mobile or computer, pass your credentials to your Wi-Fi, then you can open the device menu in the browser and configure it that way, which I would strongly recommend you because it's just so much easier. From that main menu, you'll notice that you can access the device information in a couple of different ways. First of all, you can stream the exact image that is being displayed on the device. In case, you know, we just want to display that, which is very handy. But if you want to access that data programmatically, then you have other options too. First of all, you can access the text output, which is going to give you just a basic, like average temperature, highest, lowest, etc. But if you switch over to the JSON format, you'll notice that apart from the text information about the temperature and highs and lows, you also get the frame information, which is basically an array of numbers that are assigned to corresponding pixels with the temperature value assigned to individual pixels. And this is great because if you want to recreate the image somewhere else or use that um, data to process it and create your own script, then it's probably one of the easiest way to uh, interact with it. And all of that is available without connecting a single wire to the M5 stick, which is great. Apart from a local way of accessing that data, you can connect this to cloud, to M5 stack cloud, and using the key and the MAC address of your device, you can log into that cloud and obtain that, basically all that information from the device, both through the M5 stack cloud instead. Now that's an option, but there is a more than one way to interact with this. First of all, you can download the M5 stack IDE, which allows you to wirelessly program this thing using either uh, block interface or block code interface, which basically is a Python in MicroPython in disguise, and add your own ways of processing the data and submitting it via REST requests to wherever you want. But where I was more interested was to try to obtain that JSON information to my node red server so I could process that the way I wanted and use it in, I don't know, home automation, I guess. The very quick REST nodes the very quick flow that I've created in Node-RED wasn't particularly difficult to create, but there was a one thing that got me stumped. I could not obtain that information at first until I disabled the HTTP parsing. I don't think the headers are being submitted correctly from that device because the request is being received, but the computer didn't know exactly what to do with it. So once I disabled the parsing of the headers, everything worked as intended and I was able to obtain a JSON or text uh, information from the server created by M5 stack. Uh, at this point, you can just start utilizing the data in the way you want. And I know what you're asking, what would you do with a tiny camera like this? Well, the world is your oyster. If you remember, I'd used the original M5 stick to create a small pocket widget that I could actually put in my pocket and have information about my printer, 3D printer, displayed on that little device showing me the current temperature of the hot end and the bed and the print progress and the file that's happening and everything. So that took me about 45 minutes in the M5 stack IDE. Similarly, you can use, for example, I don't know, point this camera at the printer and you could possibly detect a fire. While at work I played with more expensive thermal cameras from Flare, uh, frankly speaking, M5 stack has removed all the hassle from experimenting with the devices with thermal vision. And if you have an idea for utilizing the predator vision uh, and in your home automation or something, you can simply just get one of these and start experimenting on the chip. Like I said, it's super simple to set up and I absolutely love what M5 Stack does with their devices. So if you guys are interested and you would like to get the tea light uh, for yourself, you just head to the description. I'm gonna link the individual modules. I'm gonna link this particular module as well and you can make your decisions there. As for now guys, hey, I don't have a posting schedule. If you're interested, what's gonna be featured on the channel next? There's only one way to do it. Use YouTube tools provided. There's a couple of social media links down below. Feel free to follow me there and start conversation. As for now, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Now, how do I add the predator vision to my goggles? So something like this.